Hey, it's Ron, um, back in the studio. We're gonna do a quick mahogany finish. Uh, we're gonna do ribbon mahogany on one side, we're gonna do a cartridge grain figure on the other side. I've already painted the board with an eggshell paint. Color is called orange peel. That's a uh, Sherman Williams color. I've got my black glaze and my mahogany tinted glaze. These come this way, right from the manufacturer, makes life a lot easier. To do this finish, we need a couple tools. We're gonna need a mottler. Uh, badger softener and a couple of little uh, just throw away paint brushes. Okay, we're going to do the ribbon mahogany first. We're going to take our mahogany glaze and brush a nice thin even coat over the entire piece surface. We're going to start top to bottom. Alright, so we're going to go top to bottom. Then we're going to come back and forth a little bit, make sure we get nice even coverage, and then again, top to bottom. Try to make it nice and even. Got a little bristle there. Okay, step one. Okay, now we're going to take our other paintbrush, a little bit of black, not a lot, and we're going to pull, make sure I don't have too much on there. Nice straight line of black all the way down, top to bottom. And another one. Don't go too straight though, give it a little character, make it a little interesting. We'll put a little bit over here yet. Maybe just a hair. Some of it. Alright, we're gonna take this mottler. What we're gonna do is make sure there's no loose hairs. This is a brand new one, just grabs off the shelf. We're gonna place our hand, paste it in the hand like this. We're gonna place these two fingers on the top of it. Kind of give it a little wavy motion and a rag. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this using a moderate pressure and pull it all the way down. And I have the rag handy to pull off any excess. Just come back and clean it up a little bit. Now, then we're going to take the badger brush and go across it. This will soften those lines up a little bit more. Kind of give the grain more of a natural effect. This type of cut would be from the outer edge of the tree, so the, the sap would grow out. This, the way I'm badgering this, that means this would be the center of the tree and the sap's growing this way. And we go up and down to get started. So left to right, just left to right, then top, up and down. Okay, don't worry about the color being different because it's a piece of wood. Everything's different in nature. Okay, that step is finished. We're going to let that dry before we move on. Crotch grain figure. So what we're going to do is we're going to take that same mahogany color glaze. We're going to brush it on 100% coverage over the entire surface here. All right. This will give us something to do while that guy's drying. All right, so we're just going to keep going here. Not too much. If you use too much, you're going to have a, a muddy mess on your hands, and you're going to be working twice as hard. Less is more, all right? Getting it brushed on. Now, now that i got it on, I'm just going to even it out. Top. There's our mahogany. Let's get to the black. Just a touch. We're going to create like a teepee type motion. Okay? Not a pyramid. Teepee. As the grain goes, the grain goes up. As it goes up though, the base doesn't get wide. It sort of gets like pyramid or teepee shape. A little bit more right here. a little bit more here. So you see how I'm kind of building this up a little bit. We'll put a little bit here. And then right here, we're gonna, what we're going to do is go up. Get to, can't see around my shoulder. It's going to be tough. Kind of go up and down. See that? Give it a little character, a little wiggle at the top. I just need to go up, down, up, down. You gotta, the hard part here is even pressure. You got to go up with the pressure and down with the same amount of pressure. We're not trying to remove the glaze. We're just trying to manipulate it. So we can start to create the pattern of the grain. This is a little bit too much removed here. We'll come back and fix that. So kind of go up and pull it down. Start here, go up. 
make a little thing like that. Okay. Now we're going to take this. Now this is now how is it? As this is growing up, this is the center of the tree going out, which gives us this piece on the outer side. So if we kept making this as wide as the brush, it's going to look really silly. So as we start at the top, we start wide and we turn the brush and we bring it down. To the point where it's almost straight on the outer edge. Let's go back and fix some of this up. Now, as the center of the tree, the sap grows up and out, and that's how we need to badger this, up and out. This is a little thick in here, I'm gonna take some of this out. So if we're gonna take the badger brush and go out. Okay, and then up and down with it. Same thing on this side, we're gonna go from the center out. Nice and easy, and then with it, not too, don't use too much. You're just using the tips of this brush. Don't want to use a whole lot of pressure, just the tip. All right, and it touches up just a little. Now the center, so like I said, so it comes up and then out. Kind of got a little sloppy in here. So let's kind of touch that up. And be careful not to overwork it, or you'll get some of that. But it's easy to bring back. Okay. The nice thing about water-based materials, we can keep playing around for a while. We have a lot of time to work. Kind of, it's the new generation of water-based products. Alright, let's let it dry and then we'll come back and uh, overglaze.